again back for another pregnancy update this update is really big um, there's a lot that went down the past two weeks and I may get a little emotional I don't know probably not but it's a very emotional journey that we are now on so starting with 33 weeks baby is somewhere over four pounds and 17 inches plus about the size of a pineapple and the fluid levels in the amniotic sac are supposed to be maxed out by now so within the 30 week week <laughs> we had our maternity pictures done which was so fun I'm planning to make a little slideshow video with those because we had a lot of fun and we got some really cool shots, which I'm so happy about. We had a snowstorm. Like, this was the most significant snowstorm that the area has seen in over 20 years. So, the earliest happening in the year in over 20 years, which is crazy. And at our house, we got somewhere between... 16 and 18 inches. I stopped counting at 13 <laughs> because it was so crazy. So because of that, I had to cancel my prenatal massage that I had scheduled <sighs> for later in the week, but later in the week I had to cancel again <laughs> and you'll find out why in a little bit. Symptoms, cravings, everything else, or I guess baby things, whatever. He gets hiccups at least once a day, and it's usually around midnight, give or take like an hour, which is really funny. <laughs> I don't know if that's something that usually happens, or if my kid's just on a schedule already, I don't know, whatever. But it's cute. I am getting more Charlie horses in the middle of the night, which is really unfortunate because they hurt. Cravings? Um, Pizza Hut? <laughs> Dots candy and chocolate. So that's about it for 33 weeks. 33 weeks, so it was a pretty basic week. And here is my 33 week belly picture. Alright, so for 34 weeks, we had a really big week. <sighs> I'll just start with the general baby things and then go into detail about all that happened and this may get a little lengthy because like I said in the beginning of this video um, just a lot happened and a lot is going on with me and baby and the whole pregnancy <laughs> so baby is up usually about four and three quarters a pound but four and three quarters of a pound to five pounds and around 18 to 20 inches so they're pretty much if not already at their birth height which is pretty cool and baby is gaining even more fat layers yay many babies born between the 34 and 37 week mark where I'm kind of in the range at right now are born healthy and some have a NICU stay which is understandable just based on baby's development and how they have grown so, the beginning, or I guess Wednesday of this week, I had a regular OB visit, and the heart rate was in the 140s, which is a little higher than what it has been, the 130s. Um, his head was still down, my blood pressure is still pretty good, and, and, um, my belly was measuring two weeks ahead, and this ensues the chaos. Alright, so, I had a regular 
ultrasound scheduled for this week to check on the placenta. And from what she could see, the baby was doing okay. And he was weighing in at 5 pounds 10 ounces. My little chunky monkey. Which is really just, um, she showed me on like the growth chart of average babies. And he was just, just a little hair above, um, the middle average. So doing really good, still pretty much right in the middle on track. And one of the biggest exciting things, no more placenta previa! Yay! So my placenta has moved, which means I should be A-OK -okay for a vaginal birth, which is so, so relieving. Is that a word? I think so. But I'm so relieved and we're so excited that it's moved. Um, she said that from what she could see, it was at least four centimeters away from my cervix. And that could have been something else and not even the placenta. The placenta could be totally, totally clear. But it was four centimeters away at least, which is so awesome. So thankful for that. And she did mention that because it's still fairly low, that we would have to be very careful um, during cervical checks just in case. And... I will have one of those at my 30 week, 36 week appointment, so I'm not really looking forward to that, but whatever. <sighs> this is the part that sucks. She was measuring baby, looking at baby, and looking for the placenta, and then she measured the fluid levels because she was like, um, yeah, it looks like uh, there could be, could be a little high. And the average range for fluid levels is anywhere between 5 and 25. Don't ask me what the exact volume measurement is, but I just know those are the numbers. And most women are around the teen range, so 13 to 16. And mine was 26.6. So not too much higher above the normal range but because most people are in the middle like in that in that teen range they kind of like go crazy about it and do more tests so because of this i had to have an emergency ob visit it wasn't really an emergency but just an extra ob visit the next day um but right away that was on Thursday. The ultrasound was on Thursday. So Friday morning, they had me do another diabetes test, the glucose tolerance test, because it is common that ladies with um, gestational diabetes um, that don't know or don't take care of it or develop it later than normal um, have extra fluid. So they wanted to test that again, and they tested a bunch of other blood work as well. And I passed the gestational diabetes test again with better numbers than I had before. <laughs> so I am clear still for gestational diabetes. And my other blood work they took, um, I don't know about it, but like some of my... Uh, cell counts and things were below the normal range, but they were not concerned because it is just a hair below, so they weren't concerned at this point or anything. Um, but yeah, it still kind of sucks. So at the OB visit later that day, um, we talked about future OB visits, I'm going to have to increase sooner than 37 weeks. 37 weeks is usually where you start going every week. So between that OB visit and my next one, which is next Monday, it'll be only a week and a half and then I'll be going every week. And also at these visits, or I guess along with these visits, I will have to do biophysical profiles and NST tests. 
um, biophysical profile, um, baby pretty much has to do a certain number of things in the given time, which I think is a half hour. I don't really know much about them yet because I've never had one done and she didn't really go crazy in depth, um, but that's just what's going to have to happen. And so I'm also going to have to have some extra monitoring, which is, there'll be extra OB, well there will only be like one or two unless something else comes up. Um, but I am getting sent to a specialist, which is uh, <laughs> 105 miles away, but that's okay. Um, what they do at the specialist office is a level 2 ultrasound, which is pretty much a more clear ultrasound, a more high-tech, I guess, ultrasound uh, that looks at babies, like more of his organs and brain, I think. <sighs> and it's really scary, but I'm hoping that we go there and everything is fine. And extra fl in extra fluid cases... 50 to 60% of the time, there's no reason, no crazy medical reason or anything, but the other 40% of the time, it could be a placenta issue, diabetes issue, something wrong with the baby's organs, something wrong neurologically with the baby, so just don't know. And, yeah, I um, am having a pretty hard time dealing with this because it was, like, so exciting to get the placenta out of the way, but then it's like, oh, wait, yeah, now you're going to have a bunch of other issues. <sighs> so it's really kind of frustrating, and I have definitely cried, the most I've cried throughout this whole pregnancy because of it, but... Hoping everything looks okay. Our ba babies looked okay in the ultrasounds thus far. So I'm not... I'm concerned, but I'm not overly concerned. At least yet. We'll see what happens, though. At the ultrasound. Um, that'll be December 5th. So that'll be... Part of the... 34, no, 35, 36 week update. Yeah, so hopefully I'll have all that information before I do another video. And uh, once I find out a little bit more information from the specialist at the perinatal clinic, I will do a video about it or just add it in whatever happens, I don't know what's going to happen, so I may just add it into that 35-36 week video. Um, just because I don't know, I really don't know what's going to happen, or... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but it is stressful. So that is pretty much all that's going on. The placenta has moved, it's clear, but there's extra fluid now, which is frightening. And... Here now you get a little bit of ultrasound footage and my 34 week belly shot and I think that's about it for this update. Bye. Here is my right side. I am <laughs> big and feeling big. <laughs> Here is the front. And this is my infected belly ring, and this is my belly button, the bottom little bump. So it's kind of out, but I don't know. And my left side, and this is his butt.